Now she's just 20 years away from having to send herself a telegram. The Queen's 80 next week and to mark the occasion, Buckingham Palace has posted 80 things you never knew about her on her website. Things like... The Queen sent her first email in 1976 from an army base. A law dating back to 1324 means she owns all the sturgeon fish, whales and dolphins in the waters around the UK. And she's received many unusual gifts, including jaguars, sloths, two black beavers, a box of snail shells, a grove of maple trees and seven kilos of prawns. Well, Simon Astaire advises members of the royal family on dealing with the media. Good morning to you, Simon. Uh, these 80 facts, they're enough to trivial pursuit game, aren't they, on the Queen? Uh, what do you think of them? Does it go any way to demystify her? Um, I think that's why the facts have been released, because they don't demystify her. Um, I would like to know what her favourite television show was, or does she drink coffee in the morning, or does she have tea? Those are the sort of facts that I would be looking for, but um, they may be enjoyable to some. Can you enlighten us on any of those, those questions? No, because I don't know the answers. But um, the, I think the public wants something that is much more of today rather than... So the fact that she's launched 23 ships, speaks fluent French, and she's owned more than 30 corgis is really stuff that we could have, could have guessed, really. No, I think, actually, her speaking fluent French to people is a very good thing. I don't think a lot of people did know that. Mm. And I think that her French um, is meant to be very, very good, and her articulating in French would be um, an interesting fact to know. Now, if you were advising Prince Harry this week, what would you be saying to him about uh, the reports in the papers over the weekend of him uh, appearing at this lap dancing club? Uh, not to worry about it. Have a good time. <laughs> He's a young guy, you in, know? in terms of, like, the royal family, you think there's no damage done that, do Oh, absolutely you? not. I think the more that the public know about the royal family and everyday existence and that they do what everyone else does, to a certain extent, is no bad thing. And for Harry going to a lap dance, I think a lot of 19-year-olds can connect with that, maybe even a few 30-year-olds. So a bit, bit, of a bit of a thumbs up from the public then. Um, Prince William, um, today he's been crowned the King of Chavs uh, by a national newspaper with uh, a fancy dress photo, um, dressed up trying to look like the, like the common people. A uh, bit of fun, what do you think? <laughs> Very of today, very Wayne Rooney, very <laughs> Colleen. I think he's got his ear to the ground and absolutely not at all offensive, very so much of today. Do you think this is uh, the way the royal family should be going, though, trying to get in touch more with the public? I think the younger members of the royal family are trying to do so, and I think that we should um, embrace that, and I think it's all good news, yes. Finally, at the first anniversary of Charles and Camilla's wedding, they appeared uh, for the cameras up in Scotland. Uh, this um, wedding itself, a year ago, people were saying very different things about how it was going to go down with the public. How, how do you think it's, it, it is going down? Well, I think she's becoming more and more popular, um, and I really thought that that's the case. Mm -hmm. The more that people will see of um, Camilla, the more that they will embrace her as well. They, she's a, she has this ability. Some people have this ability. that When they walk into a room, people like them. They just have that sort of, you can't make it up, you either got it or you haven't. Mm -hmm. She's got it, she walks into a room and people will warm to her and the more that people will get to see her, um, the more people will take to her. Be interesting to see the future, won't it, of the royal family in general, the kind of image they're going to have? Yeah, I think the, I, I agree and I think that the more that they are, you know, Prince uh, William being photographed in Chav outfit and <laughs> Um, Harry going to a strip club is, um, hey, what's happening today? As well as keeping a mystique. You can have both. I'm convinced of that. Simon Stair, thank you very much for your time this thank morning. You. Good talking to you.